Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of the Norse Rebirth. So we knew this day would come. We just knew it would! The Catholic faith just refuses to let us exist peacefully. You know, peacefully raiding and pillaging and conquering and all that. They just won't let us do that, it's annoying. So they, uh, the, Holy Ar the Holy Roman Emperor, the Kaiser, has decided to do a holy war for some of our land. He wants the Duchy of Holland. He wants to take back our holy site, and we can't let him have it. Now, unfortunately, because that is the war goal, he's not going to be dumb enough to take his army and try to cross the Straits of Denmark into Scandinavia or Sweden. He's going to probably go straight for the war goal. However, the war goal is protected by a strait crossing to everything else. But it is plains, really no different than the Straits over in, in Denmark. But um, I think what we're going to need to do is immediately pick up our armies. Well, let's see, this is what? Five more ticks at 12 days, that's two months. Can we wait two months to burn down some stuff? Probably not. Let's leave. How close is it? Yeah, none of them are close enough. Fortunately, our levy is already raised, although we can raise more if we release, so we should probably do that. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to need to release and re-raise if we're going to fight him. He's got, I was checking it a second ago, and he has like 50,000, roughly? 47,000 troops. And you better believe he's going to hire the Holy Order, because he's just a chicken. He won't fight us man to man, he's going to fight us with a bunch of holy men. Alright, so we can raise 25,000 plus the 9, that's 35, versus his 40. The only chance we have is either utilizing straight crossings or utilizing boat bombing tactics or possibly doing some raiding simultaneously with fighting in order to hire mercenaries. But we have no initial war chest, so it's very difficult. I don't think that that's likely to happen. Um, pretty much just have to raise up everything, and unfortunately for us, I have to take the time to manually combine it all so that it gets there just a little tiny bit faster because every day does count. Now, fortunately, we are using kings now, which makes it significantly simpler. Where's our king of Finland? Over here? Yeah, how about you don't raise your army over there? How about you raise it down here? That'd be great. Thank you. You, silly guy, don't have any boats. That's unfortunate. How convenient that there's enough boats to pick up the retinue right there. Very nice. Okay, this army we can actually raise over here. And this guy we can raise here. Okay, so these little ones, they're so tiny that I don't even really want them. This is a retinue though. And what do you know, I think we're done. I think that's all of them. Let's uh, try grabbing all the boats, and we'll rally to this section area. In fact, let's not do that. Let's, let's rally to here. We're going to disband this one, though, because this is the garrison. We want to keep that there, if possible. Make it a little bit more defensible. Okay, play on speed 3, since this is a major war. We did miss an army there. Let's grab them. We also missed an army here. Grab them. This retinue needs to get on some boats, so we'll send them there. Now that those three are on board, now I think we can re-rally. And we want to select the, the boats, so we use the Alt key. Now, if possible, if we can fight off portions of his army before he combines them by utilizing the boats, that might be the other minor advantage we might be able to use. And if we do it before he assaults this, we can use the, the docks to just boat bomb. We'll be at half morale, but we won't take any naval landing penalties or anything. And it might be sufficient. And part of this army is flagged as raiders, which is preventing me from combining. There we go. Meanwhile, we take a, a, a small bit of time to go sleep with our concubine. Bring her along. Brang? No, brought. We brought her along for the ride. 22,000... We got these guys on Gotland as well. There's another huge portion here. I think we'll wait for them. 
One of the things that I'm, I'm hoping is that at the very least I want to white piece him. That looks curiously like a holy order. Indeed it is. 35,000 troops. Now he's too dumb to realize that there are 35, 33,000 men in these boats. So we'll just sort of show up and kill him. I think we just pick the top people. Let's, uh, we'll manually check, make sure none of them have any craven traits or anything like that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Botolf, combat in farmlands. Pretty sure this is farmlands. Plains? Plains counts as farmlands, yes. Good, okay. Do we have any others that could do that? Any other flat terrain experts? Anywhere? Anybody? No? Okay, well, that'll have to do. All right, we're going to boat bomb. Half morale, but more than double the troops. We should just be able to show up and then possibly slaughter them in the skirmish phase. If we can go straight from skirmish to pursuit, we'll take almost no damage. We've already routed one side, routed the second in the center, and we don't even get the... Um, oh, wow, experimentality actually worked to our advantage. That's weird. Um, yeah, we barely lost any troops at all. Let's... Um, and he's going to reinforce the Holy Order. He'll be there on the 13th. He missed it, and we got wounded. He's decided not to reinforce. I'd rather not take a straight crossing or a naval landing penalty, but if we don't take care of this Holy Order, we might just be in trouble. So let's see if we can snipe the Holy Order. Straight crossing penalty. I think we have enough men that we can route, because there's only going to be like 24, 2300 per flank. We might be able to route the entire army before they get into the melee phase, which again is going to prevent the heavy cavalry from doing anything. And if they're retreating, they're light cavalry, they've got 3,080 of the light cavalry, they won't do anything either. So they're only good when they're winning. When they're losing, they kind of stink. And unfortunately he ran away. Where did he go? Sticked? Nope, he moved up to there. Okay, let's bring the boats here in case we need them. Looks like he is fast and he's already in Friesland. French fry land. We'll split the boats since we clearly don't need this many. We are suffering some attrition, but um, chasing this army down is very important. Let's grab our organizer. I know I saw one. I know I saw one. Was it one of you? No? I'm positive I saw an organizer. I know I did. I had to have. Did I not? It's not my son. He's fast. Looks like we might end up having to boat bomb in order to capture it. Well, we'll use those boats to scout. July 13th. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to catch this army, but... Yeah. Nope. I want to kill that Holy Order. Come here, Mr. Holy Order. We'll navigate the major rivers here. And I'll never expect it. Oh, and you want to come into our own territory and let us have a friendly... Oh, shoot, we can't dock from this side. You can't dock from the major river. you got to dock where the port is. So we will end up taking naval crossing penalty. But, um... Oh, he took the crossing penalty. If there's any chance we can get there in time... Nope. All right, in that case, let's try going to Mecklenburg. And then see if we can run him down. He almost definitely has another huge army somewhere. He might take it towards the war target, which would be ideal for us. Surprise! 32,000 men. We're here to fight you. They're always a little bit slower when they have low morale, so it might take us a couple provinces to catch them. I think we'll actually sleep behind 19 boats to scout that coast. Yeah, he took 18,000 with the war goal. What a dummy. And he is now trying to head back to Whirl. Well, let's let him. I don't want to take the straight crossing. Our concubine just died in childbirth. Please catch him. Please catch him. Please catch him. Please catch him. We're going to catch him. Gotcha. Okay, so the right flank is m immediately in the melee phase. I'm surprised that that happened so fast. Um, they've got 1,600 troops, but again, it's almost all heavy cav and a little bit of light cav. So the light cav is okay. Light cavalry does 6.2 in the melee, which is pretty good. They do twice as much in, in the pursuit phase, where the heavy cavalry does insane amounts in both melee and pursuit. So we somehow managed to kill the left flank leader. This left flank will fall very quickly then. 
And even though they've got those heavy cavalry, we're taking far fewer losses than they are simply because it's like 5 to 1. We've routed them. We got a 30% flanking bonus. If we can route the left flank, now we get a 270% flanking bonus because we're routing, we're flanking from both sides. These guys should get that flanking bonus in a second as well. Goodbye, Holy Order. Okay. Can we catch this army? Probably not. He's going a little bit too quick for us. But he's going to Lunenburg. So we'll just go there as well. Oh, hey, there's 11,000 now. 2,200 archers. Lots of heavy cavalry. Sorry, heavy infantry and lots of light infantry. Now, this is one of the things where I almost feel guilty playing against the AI because they're so dumb. <laughs> they're just so bad. He, he, for all intents and purposes, from his perspective, my army is, it doesn't exist. It's on the boats, which means that it doesn't exist. He has no idea. Where, where did those men just go? I don't know. I don't see any. Let's go to Whirl. <laughs> Let's go siege Whirl. Is that what you're doing? That's what you should be doing. Yes, it is. See? See? Do I know this game or what? And we gave up half of our morale to do that. But, um, in just a couple days, like, say, now... Now we'll tell our guys to go to Mecklenburg. He won't realize that our army exists until it actually pops out in Mecklenburg. And then he's like, even when they're traveling from the boats onto land, they, he doesn't know my army's there. So my army will just go... Poof! Surprise! We're here. We have half morale. Now you're going to do the same thing that the Holy Order did. He's going to try to run away. He'll probably end up going to that province and then back to Whirl, because where else is he going to go? But by the time he does that, we'll have full morale, and then we'll be faster than he is. We already are faster than he is. So, again, 3 to 1. It's just going to be a, a, a slaughter. Flat terrain, absolutely. We did pick up a wounded trait a while ago, but we're not dead yet, so that's good. Filker Tor ran the great. We're amazing. Leading the center. Flat terrain. Best modifier. So, captured a duke. Uh, do we need the money? Or do we just want to kill him out of spite? Killing him... If you think it through... Killing him means that the new character will dislike the liege, which reduces the levy of the Holy Roman Empire, assuming that she would not like the Kaiser. But she will forget about... You can't see her opinion of the Kaiser. She doesn't... She might remember that the Kaiser revoked stuff. Ha, ah, Kaiser's craven. Um I think we just ransom him. Money actually benefits us directly where killing killing him might kinda help us. Need a new seer. Let's work on converting something. Now he hasn't assaulted the war goal, which means he's just giving us time. Right now, his levy is probably pretty weak. Down to 25. So we actually have more men than he does now. This is going to be fun. I think what we do... What do you think? Should we completely annihilate his army and then declare a great holy war on him? The Great Reversal is what they'll call it in the history books. It was that one time where he tried to take our holy site, so we took Germany. <laughs> The only problem is that if we declare a great holy war, all the other Catholics will join in. Hmm, I just have a, I just got an interesting idea. Okay. As long as we're at war with him, we're able to siege his provinces. Wait a minute. That won't work. When we end this war, the sieges will break. I was thinking we could do that thing where you raid provinces and then stay hostile to them and then siege him and then declare the war, but no. I think that once we exterminate his army, though, we're really going to cause some damage. We're not going to let him off the hook. Because he's still got 35,000 men there. And part of that army is apparently from the Byzantine Empire. You called the Byzantine Emperor in? You son of a... Now we have to fight both empires? Another 42,000 men? 
Well, boat bombing tactics better continue to work for us. We still control Holland. How are you two allies? Isaiah's half-brother and Dronikos' father-in-law. Isaiah's half-brother Andronikos. So your half-brother Andronikos. Father-in-law. So if the princess were to die, or if the brother were to die, or if the current Basilius were to die, most likely the weak point is going to be that, that daughter, that Kaiserin. Let's see if we can make her go away. She's an imbecile. Of course, these two great empires are, are merged together because of some imbecile daughter, a drooling idiot. <laughs> Okay, so Mr. Byzantine Emperor um, being here, they're probably going to assault. We can probably show up and kill this army, assuming it stays there, which it looks like it's not going to. But he's bringing it back to let us kill it again. Cool. It would be easiest if we could just make him not be allies anymore. How's that plot doing? 99% anyone that we can bribe. Oh, everyone's bribable. Fantastic. She is, after all, a drooling imbecile. Let's see if that'll just auto-invite them for us. It should. Our plot power rises to... Okay, so we have to hope that he doesn't assault the war goal. Are you really... Are you going to join or not? Come on. 167%. That's pretty good. Let's try going here again. Oh, maybe Friesland. French Fryland, let's pick up some fries. Western, West, West Fries Land. These are the Eastern French Fries. These are the Western type. They're slightly different. 18th, 10th. We can't catch them. Back on the boats. Back on the boats where there's no attrition. It's safe out there. <laughs> there's attrition in West Fries Land, but there's no attrition on the boats. Okay. All right. I'm going to take a break here in the next video. Hopefully we can find a way to, to win this war against the two major empires. I I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is like the top, the largest three independent states in the game fighting. Two on one, these two versus us. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.